Hey, you damn kids. Get off my grass. Why are you walking on the grass? All right? You put all this work into, you know, landscaping and stuff, and you're just going to come in here and tear up the grass with your stupid feet? Huh? What is this? No. No. No, I say. We're going to fix this right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Same casino. Hope you're having a good day today. Going to have fences put in over here because I just cannot take it anymore. These stupid kids and they're walking on my grass. Now, I'm wondering, can I just... Actually, you know, why don't I just do it this way? Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm um, going to have to go just a little bit more. I, I want them to not walk on the grass, right? Let's leave this open. But I want them to... I want this whole thing just locked down so they have to walk around onto the path. Okay? This, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, see, there we go. Get them walking in the path. That's where it looks better. Okay, so I'm going to take... Hmm. What, how, what can we do here to block this off? Is there like a... Oh, never mind. There's a three wide one. Done. Uh, the brick is a slightly different color, though, isn't it? Ah, it is indeed. Paste colors. There it is. All right, you guys. All right, what is this? There we go. Yes. Walk around. Now, they're all kind of all on the, list, the, the, the extreme side, right? And it's because of this bus stop being way over here. They're just, like, immediately going on this side of it. So it looks a little bit strange, you know, to not have people walking on different sides here. Um, I do kind of wish I could have this a little bit different. The car drop-off point is here. So anyone who uses a car will be on this side and buses will be on this side. And it looks a little bit skewed. But on the plus side, they're not walking on my grass anymore. <laughs> all right. So I've, uh, I've got the slot machines kind of popped all the way over to here now. They're all set up and configured with their all awesome settings, right? All their awesome game settings. $10 cost to, to play most of these. Some of these are the five and... Uh, are a $5 and with a $2,000 jackpot. These ones are $10 with an $8,000 jackpot. And this brings the jackpot uh, down to 1.4%. And again, they can only get that, uh, the chance to play for this if they get the double first, and that's 4%. So they're really low chance of paying out jackpots here. Um, and that's, that's what we want, right? We want really low chances on these jackpots. So if we have to pay out one, that's a lot of money. All right, we've got more slots put in through here. And these are the standard design ones, which I kind of like these ones better anyway, uh, as far as the designs go. I would like to implement some more of these, because I really like how these ones look too. But I think these ones work better up against the wall. And also these are like the really high roller ones that barely ever get used. Like they're really high rollers. Like we're talking, Let's, let's see if we can make, like, a $100,000 jackpot. Oh, we can. Oh, my God, we can. That's sick. <laughs> um, maybe they'll want to play them if we do that. Yeah, we'll, st we'll say a 12% max edge there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a big one. Okay, good, I guess. We'll eyedropper this one and put in, like, two of these or three of these. Let's go three of these. And then we'll change the game to be something a bit more, yeah, 100% for Alvin. Forrest. Oh, he's playing. Oh, no. <laughs> he's playing or, or immediately. He's like, yes, you say I can win six figures? Yes, I'm in. All right, let's see. Mr. $29 in cash and nothing in your bank account. I imagine you probably would be a little bit frustrated with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, no. I'm sorry, man. Hey, you know, not everybody can win, though, you know? I mean, you don't even have enough money to play the game again. I get it. I get it. But you know what, though? Hey, the way my policies are, if you lose more than $50 in my casino, you get a free drink. So there you go. Head on over to the bar and get your free drink, buddy, because if you lose this game just once, you get a free drink. How, how cool is that? Huh? <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, if we're going to have that much as a potential jackpot, we probably should consider having more money in the vault. But the vault is 
it's a pretty secure area. I mean, there's, it's, it's like, well, eh. eh. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, a couple of things have changed. So cashiers have moved over here. There's three of them only. So there's a little bit of a line. And um, when I say moved, I mean, I already had the cashiers here, but I noticed that once I got the cashiers over here, they stopped using them entirely over here. Uh, and that's because cashiers are only for table games. Yeah, I, uh, I maybe messed that up a little bit, sorry. Uh, but we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get, actually, no, I am not gonna expand my lobby. I was going to, and I've just now changed my mind. Don't you like how that works? Yeah. We're going to bring this out here, actually, and uh, we're going to expand this right to, I guess, here. We'll go We'll go this far with it now. Yeah. Bring you back. Oh, well, we have a guest that's trapped now. Can you get out of here, please? No, go away. Get out of here. No, oh my god. You're, you're taking turns? Taking turns staring at the walls? Is that what we're doing? Come on. There we go. All right. So what I'd like to do here, now that we've got that in, is I'm going to dismantle this. And we're going to expand storage. That's got to happen, right? So we're going to bring you this way, bring you this way. There we go. Let's get our eyedroppers and really just make sure we uh, get everything we need for the designs. It's so easy to change that, man. It's so easy. Love how easy this is. Oh, well, I didn't. Oh, I moved. I wanted an eyedropper, but I moved instead. Uh-huh. And we just go something like this. I think this one needs to be moved to face that way. There we go. And then we take this uh, shelf like that. All right. So it's, is it crowded? Yes, absolutely. But it's a much bigger storage area. I realize this one is kind of out of place. When I move it over, I can also shift this one over too. But it's a much bigger storage area, and I kind of like it because we're we're filling up all the shelves, right? If we're gonna store more in our vault, I think maybe we don't. Can we not? <laughs> can we not? I've been getting by on people not stealing from me because you know they don't. Uh, they don't want to go in here. You know, they don't. They don't need to. Uh, I'm gonna say we want to empty a little bit slower, so we don't need it quite as many guards like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna up our vault capacity to sixty thousand now. All right. So bank is gonna provide that any second now, most likely. And then let's get on with our kitchen, right? So it's really early in the morning now. So. For the kitchen and stuff, I again, I still haven't played around with this. We're going to do this. We're doing it live. <laughs> kind of. We're just going to see what it needs. So I'm going to turn the zones back on. Currently, I have kitchen zone here. And I think I'm going to... I think that's a good way to do it. Um, however, this... Yeah, right by... Okay. So kitchen here. Now, I, I, I don't think we need too much for this. Let me go to here kitchen zone we're gonna need stock storage of course for our kitchen we'll say that we keep the storage on this side i guess not entirely sure where all of this will happen but i'm gonna lay out the the equipment and then i'll decide from there where the door where the walls and stuff go so we need a kitchen sink sanitary fully operational kitchen indoors only okay the sink let's say the sink is has to be placed against the wall okay well i guess we've decided where our wall is gonna be Maybe we'll do the sink last. Okay. Uh, the fridge, where this food is stored. It consumes a lot of electricity, too. I'll look at that in a second. Um, let's say the fridge is... This is the part where everybody who actually works in kitchens goes, Eee, his organization skills are terrible. Hot plate. Uh, this must be placed in your kitchen to allow hot food to be stored while it waits to be delivered. I feel like that should be forward. Right? Like, it should be kind of near the front. Um, like, almost like the servers can access it from the other side kind of thing, right? How about we try this? I, I don't know exactly what this is used for. And then the cookers. So we can put those near the back. So put it here and here. Okay. And uh, is that it? Kitchen prep? Oh, right. Oh, obviously, they need prep skills, too. Um, let's move the, the cookers maybe over like this. 
Hmm. I almost feel like the cookers should be in this orientation and the prep table should be the other way, but... Uh, go thinking back to Chef now. Oh, how did we do it that back then? I don't know. Uh, the sink should probably be... Back by the prep, I guess. You, you, you wash up, then you prep, and then you cook, and then you put the on the hot plate, right? It's like a cycle. It's a circle. <laughs> we could try that. Right, let's, um... Let's see the, the, the organic flow of the kitchen. So we'll say the cookers are back here. The prep tables are going to be next to them, like so. So you're going to wash up in the sink. You get the food, I suppose. Um, and then you're going to prep, cook, place it on the hot plate. Right? And then this is like an open area for people to like be able to flow through so they don't have to like step around each other. Nice open area, right? I'm alright with it. I think it's fine. Let's uh let's get the walls. And we'll just kinda I again I don't know how the hot plate thing works. I thought maybe like these shelves, the way they're designed would almost be like they But I think actually the buffet area Right, it's a buffet. So you take the stuff and then you bring it out. Okay. So let's just move this here like this. We're gonna say it's a staff only room. So they can enter in through here. And then we have storage, fridge. Uh, maybe we should put the, maybe we should put the sink here. You come in, you wash up, and then you start working, right? That kind of thing. Maybe that's better. Give a little bit more room to the cooker. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's try that. And then we'll leave these things pretty close to the door. So they can be grabbed and moved out. But now this is crowded. And I don't know how, if I like that. Yeah, I don't think I like how crowded I just made that. Yeah, there we go. Workers are going to open the door. I think the door needs to open the other way. This is kind of open here. But then the food, right? We don't want the door to be open. Yeah, we don't want the door to be opening into the food, right? I'd rather them open into somebody washing their hands than open into the finished product. Right, so like, let's keep it opening this way. Uh, okay, so eyedropper. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, the kitchen can have a different, a different look and feel to it. I, th I feel like um, it's a valid kitchen, so we're good to go there. Before we get that stuff done, though, let's get the buffet done. So for buffet, we obviously need. Oh, look at this. We have seafood, steak. Okay. Well. Obviously, I think the, the buffet stuff should go along the wall. It provides a nice fluid motion for the kitchen staff. So, we'll have a beer dispenser. <laughs> nice. Un wait, does that say unlimited alcohol? That's what I like to see. The unlimited alcohol beer dispenser. Oh, you know, I, I feel like in the finished version of this game, when this game's finally done and released, Please do a little bit of extra texturing work on this, because it, it, it's really... Well, it looks like you made it in Microsoft Paint. That's all I'm going to say. This, on the other hand, has a bit of detail done to it. So, um, it looks like everybody would be here. Yep. So, we want to do Steak Buffet. Okay. Uh, put the steak on that side. Or should we do it... Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. Well, the seafood buffet will be, like, here. Okay. And then we'll have steak buffet here. So they're kind of... You can get on both sides of it. You know, kitchen staff goes in the middle, does their thing. And then um, the dessert buffet... Oh, there's a drinks... Yeah, the drinks dispenser should probably be over here, too. Yeah. Hmm... How's the flow? The, the the flow of people, right? That's the thing I gotta look. I gotta think about here. I think I've changed my mind on how I want this to be. We should go like this and like this. The steak buffet before the seafood, like this. We'll just do it like this. Um, the drink dispensing stuff. I think we're actually gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm gonna have a wall here. That sort of cuts this area off a little bit. Yeah. Right like this. And then we're going to dezone this. Okay. 
because it looks like it's as big as it needs to be. I'm going to move the beer dispenser into the corner. Like, yeah, I think right here actually is fine. We'll get two drink dispensers like this. I can dig that. Okay, cool. Um, should I have direct staff room access from the kitchen? I could. Because they want, we want them to be able to take their waste and then go immediately to the trash, right? So I think we don't need to go all the way around into the public area to do that. So let's put a staff door right here. I like it. So they can really just move through here, but still be in a secluded, protected staff area, but still get where they want to go. On that note, I'm actually thinking this door should open the other direction. Just I'm, I'm thinking about garbage flow and like it, opening that way makes no sense. We want it to open the other way. It's a little bit more fluid. It's about the purpose of the door, not so much like it doesn't matter. These guys are rarely going to come out the same time anyway, so whatever. All right, so buffet in, seafood done. We may need to expand this to more. And if that's the case, we'll flip these around and face it that way. And then we'll add another row here so they can get it on both sides. Drinks is here. A couple of drinks dispensers there. Probably we'll be using these more than the others. And then we need a bunch of... Now, there's our escalators and stuff. We don't want those just, just yet. Um, we are going to want to have... Uh, it's it's dessert there's dessert buffet now where would the dessert go along the other side maybe way over here is dessert something you normally see it's like it's not usually in the same spot is it hmm I'm confused on where I would want that for now I think we're gonna put it right here but I, I think it's it could be changed up I also kind of like the idea, and I get why they've done it this way. Staff on one side, people on the other. But if they had designed this a little differently, we really could have put this up against the wall and just had staff come around the front to reload it. But I mean, I guess it's, you know, this is this. You want the window screen to sort of protect and that's the, I get that, I get it. Cash registers. So I think we'll have that gonna be, let's get two of them here. This actually is a lot bigger than we need, which is nice. Um, but I'm thinking we need, yeah, dining table. So yeah, never mind. The dining room stuff needs to be here too. So I think we'll get the cash registers maybe off on this side. Hmm. I'm wondering how many people are actually going to use this. I, th I feel like we're taking up a lot of space. Let's just see. We'll say cash registers can go here like this I, I just want to see how much they actually use it how much business does it get kind of thing right and maybe the cash register should Ye okay okay maybe the cash registers I don't want a wall here though the stanchions we'll use the stanchions <laughs> there uh, I don't like the way that looks. We'll have to get rid of that. Just this one. Uh, I can't, though. That doesn't block it off. I hate... that. I, w I wish they'll change this. Right, right where things are placed, there's this little gap of wall that overhangs it. And I just wish they would get rid of that. Oh, here's another idea. It doesn't fix that problem, but here's here's another idea. We place the wall. It can go about like this. But we use the full length windows. That's a pretty cool idea. And again, there's that little overhang. It's kind of annoying, but I can't prevent it. But that's a cool idea. Now they can walk around and they can get these two. And then once they are done with the cash registers, right, they'll come get their food, their drinks. I almost feel like the drinks dispensers now need to be... Ah, I don't know if I like how this wraps around cash registers, but we're going to play it as it lies for now, and we'll see how it goes. Because I just want to get it operational. So we'll take the... I think large dining tables are cool, and um, we'll maybe get those placed in. 
Oh, the red dot's where the server's gonna stand. Okay. We'll have the server stand as close as, yeah, a little more conveniently placed. Now, what kind of design options do we have for these? And do I want them to be, you know, standard blue that we've been incorporating before? It would be consistent with the rest of the theme. And then the white, is this for the plates? No, it's for the table setting stuff. I'm all right with that, actually. White, like a white color? Yeah, that's fine. Um, for the chairs, no, no. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with these wooden ones, but they don't look quite the classiness I'm looking for. Definitely not arms. I don't want arms on these. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking right here. And then uh, maybe we change them to the same gray tone that we've been using earlier. Or we could bring them into like a brown. Like a... Something like this, actually. It's consistent with the walls. Consistent-ish with the walls. It does match it. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Yes. This will be how we have these tables. So, eyedropper this, and we'll make sure the server is... Ooh, there's a lot of space here. It does matter. It does make sense. You wouldn't want people scooting their chairs out into each other, I guess. We'll see how this how this works. For now, there's five, but I probably have to expand this out this way, and that means this whole arrangement right here is going to move. But for now, I think we'll leave these five. It's a lot more space than I need to occupy. It certainly is, but we'll play it as it lies. Assign this to a kitchen in order to fulfill orders. Okay, assign it to a kitchen. I just click this and say assign to. Whoa! Well, oh, that's so fluid. Oh, and now I'm introduced to a whole new system now. We have rooms that connect to other rooms. Okay. So, we got to see whether or not this is going to be overkill or not. And um, with five tables, I want to see if customers use it. We're going to have some people coming in and uh, workers are going to place cash in there, I guess. Registers. Here we go. Are they... Where are they going? After they... Oh, do they place an order and then? No. Where are they going? They go up that way and then t come back? What is this? Let's just see how they how they work this. I might need smaller tables. Because it looks like a lot of these are one person at a time things. I think I need smaller tables. We'll say that the big tables are these three. But I'm going to get smaller tables too. Um, let's do the regular dining tables. Yeah. And we'll say, you know, hopefully that people who are alone will do it this way. Hmm, now I'm wondering. I mean, I did fit more tables in that way. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll eyedropper this one and go kind of like that. Eh. Can I afford... I don't want to crowd this area, but I can probably go more in this way. Yeah, I think that's probably okay. Let's get the... Uh, I want to copy the design. Do you allow me to paste those design parameters into these tables? Um... No. You kind of flippy flopped him, you know? You, you put the salt shakers to be that. It's kind of weird, but all right. Let's just go into the designer tool and do it the other way. So we want this color. Well, actually, these are just... Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, these are just wood tables. There's no tablecloth on these. All right, well, they should not be this color then. They should be... Ooh, yeah, they should be like that. Uh-huh, yep. Uh, and then the salt shaker should be white. And then we can make the chairs the blue color it'll be this one now the chair should be consistent with all the other chairs yeah all right that's okay that's okay I, I like this one um we'll copy this design and we'll spread this to the other tables like this okay 
it's acceptable. Maybe this is a little bit crowded. Could move them slightly out. We'll see how that goes. And it might actually be better for us to expand this out just a little bit more, but we'll see how that goes. So now for the look of the place, right? Because we haven't done that yet. So first I want to do that. And I think for in here, I'm okay with the walls being the same, but obviously the floor has got to change. And I don't think we want carpet on this. That's um, kind of something you would do yeah, for a restaurant, right? You, you don't want carpet. So let's say maybe some granite. This is okay. Something like this. A little different. Yeah, I'm also kind of... Hmm... I like I like how open it is, but I don't at the same time. it's I'm kind of funny that way. <laughs> uh, let's take the floor here. We're going to just have a slightly open, slightly more open area here. And then we're going to kind of jut in like that. And we're going to have you have a walk-in path right about there. And then we can have other things spread out around this area, right? So we're kind of just opening things up and then we'll have more gambling zones here. Yeah. So like cloning this area, for example, we could go like this, spread it out, just add more machines as we go, right? Eyedropper can be like so and then all around this area is our casino probably to here let's not go all the way let's give a little bit of breathing room for the restaurant and I may need to extend it or extend it anyway so we'll go about like that with it and then I got to see how many people are using it it looks like there's a lot okay we don't have nearly enough space well that's why I left a whole bunch of space just to figure out how much people are going to use it so I think here is what we want to change up. This is a staff only door. I think the kitchen's probably an adequate size, although I'm questioning having one chef only. Can I Yeah, this is yeah. Mhm. Mm How about we do 3? But I don't know at what times. Is this is like lunch. I think lunch hours and all the way through dinner at least to here. Let's say 10.30. From from lunch hours, yeah, 11 to 11. Let's have three. And then in the morning from 12... I don't know if we do breakfast and stuff. So let's just leave one on those other times. But we'll have three... At least three chefs going on here. I feel like we should have more pit bosses as well uh, for our table games. But I'll look at that later. This definitely is too small. So we're going to expand it. Let's take and clone we're gonna clone you like this we're just gonna take this whole area and we're gonna paste all of this i think right here it's not an area that's gonna make us a lot of money though is it we also have huge lines so i think i need more cashiers i think i'm gonna put it right here it's it's kind of you don't get as much gambling, but I, I think it need. I think it's necessary to spread this out. We can always move it again. Ugh. Tough call. Let's put it here. We're gonna we're gonna move this area to here, and then all of this will be our buffet area and stuff. Okay. So marble flooring will actually be throughout this, and all the way up to here. And then we want this to breathe. But not breathe too much because um, I'm going to put slot machines right here. But we'll have this breathe a little bit. Or we don't need it to. I can put slot machines here too. All I need to do for that is just to increase this wall to here. So this kind of gives us an actual definitive entrance, which uh, might be better actually. And rather than having... Yeah. Okay. So rather than having this stop here, we'll take this 
glass. Oh, wait. Themed walls. Wait, why? Looks like I have to... You know what? It's fine. Find the walls. Full length window. So, seven windows. See what I did there? <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, seven windows into our buffet. This is a much better zone. So, all we want to do now is a couple of things. And I have it paused because we're changing everything up, right? Dismantle this. Probably could have just done it this way. But, all right. Take this away. Dismantle all of this because we've already cloned it. Dismantle that. Dismantle that. All right. And then... I think we're probably going to want more food. Like more buffet tables and stuff. Possibly. I don't know. I'm okay with this staff door, but I actually don't see the purpose in it now. Because we have flow already, so this can go. And if that goes, then that means this can move over. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do one steak, seafood. Let's move that. And we'll say we want two steaks next to each other. And we'll do two seafood next to each other. And I kind of I kind of don't like how that's arranged now. I'm changing things up. <laughs> it's what we do. Uh, I'm sticking out, though. Uh, I like the idea of doing it this way. But I realize that it's more space. Something like this. And then the dessert one can be over here. You know? Like it's a different dessert bar separate. I think this is probably realistic in how that works, I think. So we kind of have buffet like this. Can they be closer? Yeah, get these closer. Let's um maybe move them a little bit like this. So they can come down one side or the other. They can get their food. The dessert bar is separate. It's over here. And then all of this stuff can be tables, right? I, I think that's going to play out pretty nicely. Let's copy this and get three cashiers. Looks like we're going to need that. And let this play out just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to take the clone area on these. And we're just going to bring these out here. So we'll bring this right up against the wall. Uh, actually, better idea. Bring this right along the wall like this. like that and then I want to actually change up the orientation of these tables yeah something like this would be cool so this is for your loners right these are these are the single tables they can get in a little bit quicker and um, you know do their thing and if you have a bigger group well you go towards the back and you're back here you know a little bit less foot traffic for you as a group that kind of thing um, I will mix up sort of how these are arranged. Like, I don't need them to be all arranged the same. But I don't want them to be, like, right here. Like, all of this is... I'm going to clear that out. I don't want there to be a ton of tables kind of crowding that area. But it just looks like an organic fit for tables this way. It's, um, it's a little interesting. I use the term interesting whenever I want to do, you know, asymmetrical kinds of things. It just, I don't know, change it up and make it look interesting. Maybe we go like this. And that that's unnecessary. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I can't decide if I want another row of these. Maybe I will just... Maybe I will just move them like this. Am I paying every time I move a table? No. Okay. I didn't think so. Like paying to move a table doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, so we have like some tables, some single tables here. That's cool. Um, we can eyedropper that and maybe do another one here. But then all the rest of these, right? We want more family tables too. So waiter, waiter there, waiter here, and waiter like this. This is a still a pretty high foot traffic area, but we added a lot of tables here, right? And let's just see how this goes. Will this be better? You know, I don't know. Let's find out. For the zones, we do need to actually leave the zone now. It needs to be expanded. So we're going to go like this. 
And like this. All right, and then the buffet zone should be hooked up. Should still be connected, so let's see how many people use this. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, talk about your long wait times. Oh my God. All right, um, new plan. Like seriously, this is the new plan right here. Oh my God. You're going here. All of these guys can take orders outside the place, man. Yeah. Because this, like, people waiting around while I'm eating, I don't like that. And then I'm going to need another one. Oh, my goodness. At least four. That's where these guys can be. This is a work in progress. I think it's a nice work in progress, though. It's working out pretty well. Right? Let's, we have a different... Uh, actually, no, we want people waiting in line. We don't want slot machines and stuff here. We need to give them room to actually wait. We'll go like this with it. That's going to give them a lot of room to breathe. All right, where's that zone? Buffet zone, yes. We're going to extend the buffet zone just to cover that. Okay. Can we? Does that not work? Must be placed in a buffet to sell food. This includes the usage position. Gotcha. Includes the usage position. What a great, helpful tool tip. I'm just saying. The usage position. Ah, oh, come on. That's perfect. I love that tool tip. Well done. All right. So there's our buffet. Now everybody comes in. Oh, my God. They wait outside the restaurant. Yes, wait outside the restaurant. Perfect. All right. I want you to move over here. We get work in progress. Here we go. Move over here now. Good. Move over here now. Yep. There you go. All right. Dessert bar, I still like where you are. I might move that door. It's a little bit far away now. So if I was to change its location, I would need to... Let's try this first. We'll put the door here. Then we'll slide the sink over like this. Uh, maybe one more. This is okay to be crowded here. And then we'll slide this door over like that. Okay. And it opens in the direction of the food. Or like it opens opposite the direction of the food, right? So they, they're going to go that way and then they can leave. Got it. Okay. Wow. So many people want the food, guys. Look at this. The question is, do I have enough seating even? I don't know. Research so must meet requirements. Hang on. What did I do? Let's turn the zones back on. Oh, I extended the buffet in here. Okay. Uh, we want research zone. Where is that? Staff facilities? Yeah, here. There. All done. This is crazy. This is a wild ride over here. I like it. And see, and so what's happening here, right, is you got bathrooms just outside the restaurant, right? And you go in and you're, you're doing your thing and you're... You're taking your orders. You go in here. You sit down. You eat your food. Everyone likes, likes it. Oh, yeah. Dessert bars in the back. You got family tables. You got single tables. I don't think we have enough tables. But, like, in the, initially, I think there's a giant wave of people that want to use the new place. And then that sort of equalizes out because not everybody's going to want to do it at the same time. Right? That's my theory. So that's what I'm hoping to see, is that it sort of starts to normalize and we don't have quite as many tables. But the, I like this open area. It keeps the majority of the foot traffic going through here, away from the diners, the people who are dining, right? It keeps them away from that. And I'm also thinking of just maybe making this a slightly, I mean, you if you have a lot of foot traffic, you want a wide open area. You don't necessarily want it to be a closed area. And I don't really need a door here. I was going to put one because it might look cleaner. But I don't think it's necessary to put a door here. If I wanted to, though, what would it look like? It's this wide. But see, notice I can't have the full width door. I can't have the glass go all the way up. I just don't have access to that. So I'm, I'm actually good with the way this is. There we go. Cool. And then we have dining hours. We could do a 24-7 buffet. We'll see how that goes. Oh, we can rename the zones. Hey, what should the restaurant name be? You guys give me a restaurant name. Yeah, yeah. Give me a restaurant name. I'll try to name it after something that you guys want. 
As long as you don't, like, meme me or something, you know? Now I'm thinking about the drinks being here and moving the buffet even further over. You get your food, you bring it to your table, you get your drink, plus your drink refills. Now they have to walk all the way over here to get their refills and stuff. It's probably not great. But I also don't want foot traffic like this for drink refills crossing the kitchen staff. Like, I don't want that either. So I'm going to actually be fine with this. And we're going to leave that alone. However, I can probably fit in another table. Mm, I don't think we need it. Seven family tables. Let's fit in one more here just because we can. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, guys. Uh, this is not as clean as some of you probably would like. <laughs> uh, so we can go like that. And... Uh, you know, for the, this area and wondering maybe why we're leaving this open. Well, wonder no more. We go like this. And then we leave. Uh, we're going to take care of this fence right there. Yep. Just like that. So extra casino stuff. Extra, extra casino stuff. Yeah, extra slot machines. There you go. Um, I'm going to move this over. Multi-select. I'm going to move these to be over like this so that they aren't crowding this because I want this to be my way upstairs. So we're going to have this go. Ooh. All right. Now that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Let's have... Uh, hmm. All right. We'll move you to here move you to here move you to here and move you to here there i like that all right we're gonna slide these down now i know it cost me money i is aware oh man how much does this cost me though yikes all right fifty three hundred dollars to move that fine then we'll have this. I want this to be a three wide path. And then it takes them this direction. And then we have our facilities to take them up to the second story right over here. So there you go. This is shaping up nicely. Very nicely, in fact. Just kind of copy one of these at random. How about you? Bring you over like so. Oh, look at lots of foot traffic going through here. Nice. And again, they have to walk through gambling systems. They have to walk past slot machines. They have to walk through the casino to get to anywhere where they want to go. And then this is where we're going to put in our escalators to take us up to the second floor. So escalators here. And I think probably we'll put them on this side. About like this. Make them walk around like that. Or we can have them fluidly get to this side. I think maybe that's probably better. Let's do it this way. We'll put them like this and like this. Two high traffic ones like this to take them up to the second story. Ooh, that's too crowded. Nope, I want this. I think I want this facing the other way. Yeah, I do. I want this facing the other way after all. Like this and like this. They have to walk around and get on the escalator. Yeah. And then they're up here, which is too close to the edge. That's why I wanted to check it. So let's move it here and here. This is probably fine. Yeah. Walk around. And then they're up to the second floor. There they are. All right. Second floor is right here. We're going to start that next video. I've moved my solar operation over to here. And also ventilation was bugging me again, so I added another air, uh, air duct. I can probably keep doing that, but it's going to be this uh, this wall tool here. We're going to have the, the walls for our upper floor, right? They're going to be kind of out this way, right? And um, I have to use this area. I'm thinking of having probably more lower floor here potentially but also I kind of wanted this decorated outdoor area where people could like walk around the building 
and get into something out here like a lounging area but honestly it's it's just one of those de decorating things like it's just a pr beautification thing it's uh it's not gonna add to my revenue but the thing is i don't think i need any help with my revenue <laughs> i think i'm i think we're okay on the the revenue department if we take a look at my uh yesterday profit and loss I made $165,000 just yesterday. And that was with $92,000 of construct $94,000 of construction expense because of building all that stuff out. So I think we're profitable enough. I don't think we need any more right now. Uh with a $100,000 jackpot being a thing though, I think I probably should at this point just in case somebody does win it. Uh as unlikely as that is, just in case somebody does win it, I probably should keep a hundred grand in the vault. So I'm gonna keep a hundred thousand in the vault because that's my top, that's my top, uh, my top jackpot. So we can do that, and therefore we shall. I think that's gonna do it for today, guys. This is a this has been a nice video. We're gonna have more garbage now. These guys can bring it out there. They can go through here, and, and then we're good to go there for the garbage. We've got uh, an exit point. We, we expanded our storage. At least I thought I did. Hang on. Yikes. Has this been going on the whole day? Sure has. The whole video. All right. We expanded storage. Looking good. We can expand our vault because we're going to store more money in it. But right now, it's it's fine. It's 10000 per bag. So storing 100,000 is no problem. We can actually put more shelves on the side if we want to, just to expand capacity even further. Yeah. I feel like maybe these don't need to be right next to each other, though. Yeah, I could do something like that. But we have capacity to store a lot. So it's, it's not a big deal, actually. That vault is the right size. I need a name for my restaurant. So let me let me know what that is in the comments. And then we're going to start the upper floor, which is going to look very similar to the lower floor. You need more staffed camera booths. Hang on. It's this. I did the zoning, right? I think I messed the zoning up. No. No, I think what it is is I, I lack the security staff. Oh yeah, I lack security staff for sure. Uh, three, five, and three, let's say. Oh, uh, you have to do one at a time. Three, five, and three. All right, maybe that will hold me over. Maybe that will, but we'll settle it. We'll see. No security guard is currently scheduled to be here. I feel like there should be a prioritization for that. Like a setting to prioritize the cameras over everything else, but I think what it is is you just need more people. So I guess we'll just go uh, four. Well, let's just say five. Five here. Um, no, I really wish it wouldn't do that because I liked the schedule I had before, and now I have to change it. So let's go 9:30 a.m. to yeah to like 10:30. And we'll take seven here on this time and five here on this time. Okay. And that hopefully gives me enough security guards to do this. Does it not? See, they're just standing here doing nothing instead of this. And that's weird. That's the strange part. I'm not sure how to tell them to work a certain place. Because they're kind of wasting here. It's a, it's a wasted amount of staff. But I'll, I'll do that. I'll figure out how to do that. And we'll, we'll come back for the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you. Like the video if you like it, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope you'll join me for the next one. We're getting started on the second floor of our, of our facility. Take care. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.